That world weary face is giving me shivers. What you say we take a load off together? I do suppose I could find some way to entertain you. Indeed I do. And I'm just itching to take you places you've only ever dreamed of, darling. <laughs> What's a lousy 250 gold between an adventurer like you? And a fine piece of tail like the one I've got in store for you. Oh, that's the spirit, sugar. Oh, gold always puts me in the mood for a little romance. Follow me then, my knight in shining armor. You little monster! Away with you! Please, somebody do something! Throw a bucket of water! There you are, darling. Shall we get started then? But first, I need to know about your preferences, darling. You're in charge tonight, after all. So tell me, which sort best floats your boat? A savage, merciless witch? Or a gentle, sensuous nymph? In need of a gentle hand, are you? Well, I've just the soft and sumptuous knoll in mind for you to rest your weary heads. Why don't we make ourselves comfortable? Once upon a time, the patron goddess of feasting took a fancy to the humble spirit of insatiability. Of their union, a nymph, Clydella, was born. The child of parents so expert in flavor and quantity, Clydella's calling was clear. A master cook she became, the finest from ground and gulch to Wimpit Willow. Queens and sultans trembled before her crow's egg crumble. Dukes shed salty, toxic Let tears go, upon her sugared monster. lion's Away wing. with you! Clydella's no. cooking was beloved, yes, but to none so much as Clydella. Feasts she'd make and feasts she'd eat. Licking up three wedding hams in the time it took to count them. More she craved, and more and more, till her clients had little more than crumbs. Please, Please somebody do something. Guests. Throw a bucket They'd of water over the damn thing. They'd wail and moan, Celebrate. but Clydella never quite heard boom. them over the sound of her soup slurping. They stormed her kitchen, spittle flying, demanding dove roast, parsnip pudding, and pureed warg. But Clydella merely gazed upon them. God, the food is getting chewing shorter. jerky. Stop and it! Shrugged. Clydella's fame declined as the royals made deals with devils to find feasts as tasty as hers. But she never noticed one way or another. A nymph in her kitchen, frying and feasting, was all she'd ever needed to be. Let me well, go, you little monster! End, Away with you! I hope it was everything no. you dreamt of and more. <laughs> oh no, I have myself a bang up time. Please, somebody do something! 